point if you've ever been interested in learning about the life of a Chinese American in Missouri? Well, I can't really tell you what other than people would be about that, but I definitely can't describe my own life and experiences. Today I'm going to talk briefly about my early life, then talk about my present life, and then end up talking about my future life. So starting off at the very beginning, I was born on July 30th, 1997, in Hayesville, Missouri. And when I was four years old, I moved to Ocala, Missouri, and I still live in the same house to this day. For the schools I went to, I went to MG Elementary, South Middle School, and now I'm a junior at Fort Beaumont South High School. Now, talking about my daily schedule since I've you know, gone back to school, it's become pretty boring since I do the same thing every day. I just wake up, go to school, go back home, and sleep and repeat that schedule all the way to the weekends. Now, moving on to my weekends, they are way more interesting than my weekdays and the thing I look forward to most during the week. On Saturdays and Sundays, I go to Chinese school and as you can see, the picture behind me is a picture of my Chinese school. And my Chinese school is St. Louis Modern Chinese School, or SLPCS for short. On Saturdays, I go to volunteer and just to help out with the school. And on Sundays, I've been going for 11 years already. This year is my 12th year going. I go on Sundays to learn and also volunteer at the same time. And since I've already quote unquote graduated Chinese school, I just do some extra curricular stuff there. Like I take a drawing class and I also take a ping pong class at the Chinese school. And I'm really thankful for the chance of having Chinese school here and being able to go to this. And I've learned throughout the years that Chinese school is way more than just school. It's way more Chinese people to me share a culture and I've also met a lot of friends and learned a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have learned in regular school. Moving on to my future life, I first hope that I can graduate high school and then go to one of the top five colleges in America. And after college, I want to go on to law school since I'm going to become a lawyer and then a judge. And some other goals I have in the future that aren't really about school and all that is I want to change my name to Thomas Wong for personal and professional reasons. And by my late 20s and early 30s, I hope to be in a serious relationship and maybe even start a family of life. But right now, I'm not in a rush for any of that. I want to thank everyone for listening to my speech. I hope everybody can work hard and do what they love and help everybody got something valuable out of my speech and maybe even away from my life in some ways.